Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I'm going to be unboxing a audio interface that I really needed, and I'll tell you why I needed this right after this. I'm a DJ Hey guys, so as I said, I'm going to be unboxing the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD audio interface. And I got this because recently I purchased a Mac off of Facebook Marketplace. And also that the Behringer Zenix Q1202 USB that is right here. It just didn't work with Pro Tools on the Mac and it was cutting in and out. I was using the Pro Tools aggregate which I don't really like. And I just typed into Google Behringer audio interfaces that work with a Mac and this thing is the first thing that popped out and I did some more research and yes it is compatible with Mac and Windows and I'm very excited that I got this and actually I am using this to record the voiceover right now going to Audacity and watching the playback in Sony Vegas. Now these are all the features that come with the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD and as you can see it does work with a Mac and that's why I got this specifically. I record using Pro Tools on my Mac and I use it for projects, I use it for recording my sister and I record it using myself recording myself and I couldn't use the Zenix Q1202 because of that issue of it cutting in and out and me using Pro Tools aggregate and I got this and I got a really good deal with this and I'm very surprised how much I got out of this deal. I got the audio interface and I also got a few chords which I'm using one right now and you'll see later on in this unboxing. Overall this box is long and honestly I thought this audio interface was longer than what I thought it would be and you'll see how long it is in a few moments. This audio interface is in my opinion after using it after so many weeks it's just really really awesome. It has zero latency hearing or monitoring and I had to get used to it with the layout and the the just the mix pan thing and the monitor out knobs and it just really it's really confusing and I had to figure out how to use this audio interface and I I'm proud to say that I finally figured out how to use it down in the deep of my mind. Now, with this mixer, you actually have a XLR and one fourth plug, which you could see in the front, and it's very easy. And here are the plugs that I got with them. I got three XLRs that are 10 feet and they're from Pighog. And out of my experience with audio stuff, I never heard of Pighog before. And these wires are very thick. You can see that this is connected to my MXL 990. And I find it really, really cool how thick these are and how just well they are, just well built they are. Alrighty, so let's get going with the unboxing. So as I received this box, it was already split. And before I did this unboxing, I looked at it and it was already good. Hasn't been touched. So the first thing you get with this is the manual. And of course the most infamous sticker, the Behringer's sticker. And I really like those stickers. Right here is the manual that shows you the products of the Euphoria line. 
You can see all the products that you get and you can see the four one on top there and that's what I th thought how big it is but it's not and I'm glad I'm very glad it's not that big because the desk where everything is it's just not big at all and I won't be able to fit it here I assume is the power supply yes it is just to note that I did record this a few weeks ago um, I'm looking at the date and I recorded this on the 8th of February and it's the 20th of February as of me recording this. And look at this power brick. The, the Zenix 1202 used a huge clump of power brick and it was just horrible to place in an area. And I'm glad they slimmed it down to this. And it's not a really big unit. Here's the USB. It's the same thing out of the, the 1202. I'm glad we got this out of the way. And it's very nice that I'm just... I love how the transformer is so small. And here is the audio interface and I have to be surprised this thing is just weirdly light and very small now as of this recording of the video of the video the other half of my Dext was completely in shambles apart because I got a lot of things. I got a dual monitor thing that you can plug through the Thunderbolt on the Mac and put it to an HDMI. I got that. I got a mouse, which is a wireless mouse for the Mac, and you'll see that. And make sure, by the way, make sure that is just safe and you don't get it and you don't get it with animals or children especially children those things are very poisonous as i pull this out i do wrap that thing and i put tape over it afterwards and i throw the entire thing out because i don't want anything happening it's just not a good feeling for somebody to have that poisonous bag that bag is just to keep moisture out of the product because it's just electronical Alrighty, so holding this, this thing is very light, surprisingly. It's a metal construction. You have the four XLRs and the one-fourth, what is a universal type of thing? I don't know. <laughs> you have the knobs that control the gain for each, each input. You have the line, line and the instrument plugs that you can switch to instrument and line for microphone which is very nice. Over here, you have all these things which are very nice. Now, here is what is in the audio interface box. You have, starting from the left, the USB, the transformer, the manual, and the sticker. And you have the audio interface itself. Now, I was planning on doing a setup type of thing going in a in-depth review of this um, audio interface and I decided not to. It's just going to be an unboxing because of my issue with my desk. Now, this unboxing won't be complete with a cinematic sequence of this audio interface and I hope you enjoy the montage.
Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I'm so glad I got this audio interface. And for a side note, I am recording my voiceover with the Euphoria. And also I added compression and a limiter to my voiceover. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. If you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you are automatically notified when I upload a video. I'm very glad I purchased this item. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the Tech Mini signing off. See you later guys. Is your head spinning too?